Hello everybody, this is Budridge. Let's Linux number one perfect folders October 2017. It's almost two years ago since I made the first yeah let's Linux video, which was not um, uh, the channel was back then not called Bud Labs. And as you can see, I also have some other videos here that I have locked down now about uh, auto hotkey. I've made some try to make a podcast about that, whatever. Um, but 2017, October 7, uh, I, I, I think is a good, good date, a good birthday uh, for, for this channel. And it's, it's like uh, three, four weeks now. Where are we? 14. Well, I guess uh, three weeks then. Um, to the second birthday of, of the, the channel, which is incredible. And I have managed to, to keep this uh, going. Um, which is, um, I never, never thought I would. Uh, I, I actually, yeah, let me give you a little bit of backstory on, on what I was doing here, really. And my initial uh, thoughts. So when I created this perfect folders here, that was more of a test video in a way because I, I just I I already had uh, extreme i3 here and i3 feed. I already had that set up, and I wanted to to kind of present that because I knew it was so complicated in a way to make it like a difficult to just make a like a Unix porn post. I kind of wanted to make a, 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 a video describing what I, uh, how this i 3 fira script worked because I was really, really uh, happy with, with how it had turn, turned out, you know. And also the other tools I made, I, I was even more uh, excited about sharing i 3 get and i 3 run and stuff. I, I, I was really, I thought that this will be uh, like a a game changer for a lot of i3 users to, to be able to to use this i3 run and i3 get and and everything but i wanted to, to kind of fire it off with showing everything combined here with i3 feed up but before that i, I created this uh, perfect folders uh, uh, video here and uh, made like a, a a unix porn post like a screenshot but also with link uh, to to the video and stuff and that's uh, mm, uh, yeah, it, it, I, I got like, uh, I don't remember, but I got a gr good response here on YouTube uh, initially on this first video. Unix porn, you know, there you, you I, I'm not uh, worthy of, of Unix porn. I, I don't have that particular style. Well, maybe now, uh, two years after, I guess uh, this, you know, having <laughs> lolcat uh, ASCII is exactly what you're supposed to do, but whatever. It wasn't like, uh, it wasn't hated, it wasn't like loved either. It was expected results from it. Then shortly, very, very shortly after uh, that post, because I was kind of active on, on Unix porn, I, I posted uh, screenshots regularly, like one or two times a month and, and uh, often commented I often wrote uh, reviews on others uh, screenshots and stuff. Try to make it, you know, f be the change you want to be kind of person. That's that's the kind of person to create YouTube channels and stuff. Just a couple of days after I published that post with, with the Let's Linux uh, link here and stuff, um, there were like this stupid, stupid question in, in the um, Unix porn. They had just started this uh, question uh, thread thing where you can ask stupid questions, so to speak. And there were, the question was something like this. Uh, Hello, guys. Um, I'm asking this because I asked this question on another subreddit. Uh, I found this uh, screenshot. Uh, and I was wondering how to achieve that. And on the other subreddit, they said you need to use custom style sheets with stylish to do this. 
And I don't understand anything. What am I supposed to do? He was asking on Unix board. And I was like, I, I actually, I, I just wrote RTFM and then I posted a link to Stylish. You know, he, he already got the answers. You need to use custom style sheets uh, and sty the Stylish extension, you know. Couldn't he just have Googled Stylish or custom extension? It, I. I can get a bit irritated on that, and, and I wasn't really irritated, I just thought, yeah, this is a perfect opportunity for an RTFM, of course. And I posted RTFM, but I also included the link, so it was like a helpful comment pointing him in the right direction. Immediately uh, after I posted that, someone else, not the original uh, poster there, starting... Uh, was accusing me for, for like bullying and, and stuff, you know, you shouldn't shouldn't treat people like that, you, you are a meanie, you are a bad, bad person. And then all of a sudden it was like three people uh, that were really aggressive t towards me. I was like, chill out guys, you know, he, he, he asked, I think it was the correct answer. I also posted the link and you know, none of you have, have uh, contributed anything to this. If you want to help this guy, then give him some additional info here. No one here, it, it, it became like a long thread like this. And no one, everyone was just talking about me, how stupid I was, you know. And when people do that to me, I go, I, I don't uh, bend over, so to speak, you know. I, I went into a defense mode. I was like, yeah, you are the idiots, guys. I helped this guy, I haven't heard anything. And if you are offended, original poster, just let me know, you know, and I will say that I'm sorry, but I, I kind of aren't, you know. This is, we don't have a support line on Linux. You don't get paid support. You kind of have to do some homework sometimes. And this RTFM, it's not meant as a, as a offensive comment. It's to help each other, we say that, you know. Um, and then... Uh, not, not that long after, a moderator on Unix porn, um, Korn, Korn went into the discussion. And also, he joined the others, keeping on, like, like bullying me. I felt like really, uh, I was like, okay, stop now, guys. Uh, what is this? And I was starting, and, and you moderators, uh, yeah, yeah, the moderator, he said something like, uh, you know, people, uh, they come here to uh, to these threads to get help and help others. Yeah, I was like, yeah, but uh, yeah, we people, we help and help others, you know, and ask questions. But you, moderators, you don't seem to do anything here. You just come and, and kind of make the situation even worse here. And then he took it like I was um, saying something that moderators weren't human or whatever. And it ended up with me getting banned from Unix porn. Uh, and I was like, okay. And shortly after that, I got a personal message because you, you know, you just get banned from, from a subreddit. You don't get banned from Reddit or anything. And I can still view Unix porn and everything. And I actually got a personal message from this guy who asked the question from, from the start. He was like, Hey man, I'm really sorry. I didn't. Uh, yeah, I, I followed your link and it actually helped me and everything, and it was great. I didn't uh, go back to that thread, but I, I just saw saw here. Did you actually get banned there? I was like, yeah, kind of. Uh, I don't know. And we had like a, we talked a while. He, he was just a cool guy. He, uh, he he wasn't mad at me at all. He he actually thanked me for for the help. And I said, yeah, I got banned. I don't know if you want to. And he said, is it anything I can do, man? So, uh, and I said, yeah, sure. If you want to, you could uh, like contact uh, the moderators on of Unix porn and say, say that, hey, Budrich did nothing wrong. I was never offended. Unban him or whatever, you know. And he actually did. And then I got the response from, from like the top moderator. I don't remember his name, but he's an idiot too. He said, yeah, uh, we heard here from the original poster, but we still think that you should be banned for a month here because uh, RTFM is offensive language. And I was like, stop it. And I posted the link uh, from Arc Linux, you know. Arc Linux Wiki ha actually have a page about uh, RTFM where they say uh, RTFM is an acronym for Read the Fine Manual. And I said that. I, th th 
that's not offensive. It means read the fine manual. But the top moderator there of Unix, I, I, I believe he's still like the top moderator. He responded, no, both you and me knows what that F stands for. You are banned for 30 days. After that, I never uh, uh, went back to Unix porn. I have never, now I'm not, I don't have, the, the ban was evaded, but I never posted on Unix porn again. I only filled in this yearly service uh, uh, and, and uh, yeah, just imagine what I wrote there, you know. And now Korn, mysteriously, is not the moderator on, on Unix porn anymore. And I also got this really bad taste, you know, for, uh, and I was just about to, to post, I hadn't posted, posted this as you can see it's November 18 and this is October 7 it, it kind of made me I don't know if I even want to follow up with, with my next videos and stuff I was kind of sad I didn't and it wasn't like I want to make everyone watch my channel my initial thought was just to present this i3 fira thing here and kind of work on that it, I, I never had the intention to make like a, a make my YouTube channel a big thing and monetize size on that and I was kind of nervous just to uh, advertise it like that. I don't like that on, on Reddit or whatever, you know, when people just trying to get others to, to go to their channel or blog or, or GitHub or whatever. But when you package it uh, and it is kind of very on topic of, for example, Unix porn rising stuff, you know, then I think it, you, you could do it. But I was kind of careful with it. So I never posted any of the links here on, on uh, Unix porn or anything. But the worst part is that I kind of got uh, even worse uh, uh, response from the i3 community. They were like, what, what's the point of this? You, you are using i3 in, in a non-tiling window. You're not following the tiling window manager philosophy and stuff. They, they were, you know, it's like a cult sometimes. It feels like this rising stuff and whatever. And I was like, whatever, uh, this, is, this is Reddit, because I got really, really nice uh, uh, reviews here on, on YouTube, great comments, and I even got um, mails and messages and stuff outside of, of YouTube that was really thought this was a, a, a good series and everything. So, so I thought, whatever, whatever, Reddit's gonna Reddit, you know. I will ke uh, keep on doing the YouTubes instead, and, and because that's a good community. And GitHub, I got got good responses on GitHub and stuff. Also uh, helping because uh, i three fira i three as it had a lot of, of words and stuff. So I got great uh, uh, both pull requests and issues and stuff. So everything was working except uh, the Reddit communication, you know. And I have always been against uh, uh, i three using reddit as their support forum they had like a great uh, uh, before they went to reddit it was they they used another uh, forum as kind of stack overflow thing that was much better much easier to search old issues and, and like follow up with threads and stuff you know reddit is terrible as a support forum it's just for shit posting basically but it have this weird side effect of creating this stupid culture and of redditors in a way, which is awful. And I actually deleted my Reddit account after, and it was also related to I, the i3 subreddit. It was someone who, 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 yeah, I posted an update, like a random update to uh, i3 run and i3 as and stuff, because it was someone on the uh, subreddit who who had found an issue on i3 as and he asked on the subreddit and, and then I think it was uh, Airblader actually who, who, who pinged me who said user budridge you know uh, there someone had problems with with your script this is not really i3 related but it was not like anything else and I was hey cool cool that you found that issue I haven't thought about it I should update uh, and uh, I've been been behind a bit with, with an update so um, wait, wait a day or two and I will update uh, the whole Light 3 suit. And I did. I, I made a big update on it, on all, all the parts of it and everything. And I made a, a Reddit post on i3. i3 as is updated, a, a list, you know, a good markdown document describing the updates. But it didn't really say anything about i3 as or i3 run or whatever exactly what it was. Only comment I got on that post was like, um, 
okay, this looks uh, cool, but I have no idea what, 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 what this does. And I was like, yeah, just click on the links or something. I wrote that. And he was like, you don't have to have that, that attitude. I was like, yeah, but, you know, there's a readme on the GitHub. Maybe read that, you know, and it will tell you. It's kind of complicated. Uh, uh, it, it's hard to describe exactly what i3s does in, in just a single, single post, you know. And then he's, he kept on, but yeah, but you cannot, uh, uh, or he clicked on the link and, you know, on i3s, it is, uh, the, the tagline is, um, yeah, yeah, here. A collection of shell scripts to use, uh, to ease the use of i3. And this, it, it was the same tagline back then. And uh, then he went back, yeah, okay, a collection of shell scripts. That doesn't say that much. I don't know what, what, what that is supposed to mean. And I was like... Yeah, but click on the links, you know, it looked like this back then too. All the scripts have links here. And I actually posted a, a, a link to Wikipedia about hyperlinks. I po posted the Wikipedia hyperlink page, you know. <laughs> and then, of course, as it all, always is on Reddit, some other idiot joined in and, and like, hey man, it actually, it is very difficult to understand what, what, what this is about. Maybe you should change the readme. And I was like, the documentation of i3s is actually what I am, have, I have put a lot of work into it, you know. If you click on one of these links, it will take you to the wiki. It actually have a whole wiki, it's not just a, a, a readme. And all the scripts have, have their own readmes, man page and wikis. It had this back then too. This is over a year ago. Uh, this discussion was happening and oh and here you can see this this uh, i3 corn here is actually named after that moderator on unix porn that banned me um, but all all, all my <laughs> scripts here have read me so i was like these idiots you know so what i did was i i copy pasted all markdowns here all, all these all this documentation for all the scripts into one single reddit post or as much as fitted. And then I wrote, yeah, this is the documentation. This is where you will go if you click on the links, you know, the blue text on, 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 on the web page. That is hyperlinks. You can click on them and then you will get this readme. But I felt this was just an update to i3s. I cannot add this documentation every time I mention my script, you know, since the documentation is available here. And they didn't back down. They kept on telling me that I uh, that the documentation was bad and stuff. And then I was like, okay, sorry that I made an update. Uh, sorry that I made this announcement. And this has just made me feel bad. I feel sad and I don't want to do this anymore. So I, w goodbye Reddit. And then I, lo then I deleted my Reddit account and I haven't gotten a new one since and I never will. I, I, I actually hate Reddit. I think Reddit is, is kind of worse than, than Facebook and, and stuff. It, it, it's a terrible, terrible uh, uh, social medium in a way. It creates this one single kind of person that think they are hunting bullies by being bullies. It's like anti-fi, you know, anti-fascists. You are being anti-fascists by being fascist. You know, it makes no sense. It's crazy. And I don't want to be part of that, that stuff at all. And it, it, it just, it also made me like, should I even continue this stuff? But still, I got great comments from on YouTube who, who weren't even aware of that Reddit drama. And I got, the GitHub was also like uh, supportive and everything. And it's easy to see, it's only uh, Reddit, you know. Not really sure where I'm taking this video. Uh, but that's like drama behind the stage. And I never, I, I don't think I ever mention it really. In, in my GitHub videos, I keep up uh, because that's not related. So I don't need to, to be like angry about those things in the videos or anything. But when I have made these long breaks here, that, that has been related to those things. Um, I would guess that Reddit drama, that was like... I uh, wonder if it wasn't like uh, here somewhere. 2018, 
March, April, some, somewhere there. I don't know. May, June, whatever. I also got like, you know, I, I did this Let's Linux, uh, all videos was like part of this Let's Linux. And, and my thought was like, um, you know, uh, I think all of us have seen this uh, uh, code, codecast videos about how to set up i3. Uh, yeah, you know, these videos, which are, they are great. They are really, really good. Comfy. I watched this, um, and I have, when I watched this, this was actually how I understood how to just get started with i3. But I felt, hey, where's the rest? You know, uh, there are so many more things you could do in the same same way as this. And I also also thought to myself, this is just like PewDiePie or whatever, a let's play. You know, it's like. Um, sitting down with a friend who instead of playing a game is rising the desktop you know that could be a thing so and that's also the name you know let's linux it's like let's play but let's uh, it could also be called let's rise but whatever i call it let's linux uh, because i want i, I missed the the rest of, of of the episode here kind of and i want whatever i also in in one way great tutorial series this but this has also, this is like uh, what they were talking about, about me not understanding the, the tiling window philosophy, because that is what these videos are, you are supposed to have. I don't even have a workspace indicator anymore on my bar, because I, I if I have multiple workspaces, it's just one more workspace, you know. I don't need to have that indicator. I don't need to have an icon. To me, that's just, I actually think it's, it's quite stupid, uh, that workflow. That's just like having a normal window manager or windows even and having different applications maximized. And then you click on the icons in the in the toolbar and they will open maximized, just like a workspace. That's like, that is very much not the tiling, why you should use a tiling window manager. It is because of these things, you know, I, I have shown you. You can have multiple windows, it's easy. You just imagine this workflow without a tiling window manager especially web development or when you're writing both having both a GUI window and a text editor or maybe a terminal maybe two terminals you know uh, then this is when you want a tiling window manager it has nothing to do with workspaces at all but of course you can use that also if that's what you want to do you know but whatever so but but yeah that's what the let's linux but i kind of I kind of got like, uh, and I still have that, uh, uh, to be honest, uh, this Linux, I'm, I, I don't know if I'm that big of a fan about, about that. Uh, and I also wanted to make this, uh, it was when I, yeah, here we can see it, when I started to make the Sublime Text videos, I felt this is not Linux related, so I shouldn't bake it into the Let's Linux. This could also be, uh, the, the things I show here are... Uh, applicable to to sublime on windows or macOS or whatever so so i actually didn't include them and i think then i realized hey maybe i shouldn't do this let's linux at all uh, whatever that's that um, it's just uh, aesthetics and also i i kind of this i, I like how how it have become now with this silly uh, clickbait titles and stuff you know i i kind of i like this <laughs> this is the style it also yeah it, it it limited me and same with this when i made this tuner series here first i started having them numbered but then i just uh, made stupid numbers to for funds you know but yeah that that's uh that's a uh, um advice if you're going to create a youtube channel uh don't do serious don't, especially not numbered things don't ju just don't do that you can do a series but don't don't title them and and, and uh, 
it will it will limit limit you a lot actually it, it it's a weird thing but that's that's true and i know uh, luke smith also talked about that don't do series in a video but you can still do series anyways but uh, pretend that they aren't and uh, yeah maybe that brings me now to where what's going on here because I was about to make a new video in the series how to create a Hugo page, you know, and just realized that the Hugo project have fallen apart here because uh, because of the sub modules and, and stuff. Some files were all of a sudden missing from the uh, uh, directory and things like that. It's um, whatever. And I realized I need to, to look into this and I kind of, my mind instantly went into Dirtech mode. So I want to create a bunch of bash script tools here is my plan now and stuff. Uh, but still I want to make like a video here. The video was in initially about how to uh, uh, include external files, for example, an external CSS, but that is, it's the same, same thing with images and stuff. They are also external files that are not baked into the HTML, you, you know. And maybe even taking the video into pipes and SAS and stuff. But since some files were missing and stuff, whatever, it, it, it gets weird, you know. Should I make a video? Uh, I actually made a video prior to this one where, where I talk only about those things. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say... 7th October 2017 was the birth of Bud Labs and now Bud Labs is taking a break but Bud Labs will really uh, try to be back uh, 7th October I need to sort this uh, website because I'm not doing this website because I want content for my YouTube. I'm doing the website because I kind of want a website. I kind of that's I really want to get to the point where I have a blog so I can post stuff there. Uh, whatever. I'm taking a break. I will really really try to be back for the anniversary 7th October and okay maybe you feel well, but you don't need to take a break by the way. If you have been on the channel, then you know that I usually or never do this. I never announce uh, my absence, but this time I do. So I've, it's it's kind of out of respect and also explaining a bit. And right now, nothing like that has really happened here. Uh, I haven't got any negative reviews on, on, on this or gotten into these weird discussions. Not even this or anything. It's not like my feelings are hurt in any way, but it feel, uh, it's more about this. It's getting cluttered here and I I'm not uh, I'm not um, and, and also my github uh, it's it it feels really weird I have a bunch of issues I haven't taken care of you know it's they talk about this all the time that that you can uh, get burnt out on on open source things and I just don't want don't want don't want that to happen, really, really, because both uh, Bud Labs GitHub, Bud Labs YouTube, they, it's very important for me that these these things keep on working for me. I don't want these things to be um, the negative part of my life. It's it's extremely important, and that means I need to take a break from the YouTube and sort the homepage, the issues. Update i3 as update uh, the, the other projects and stuff. It's all it, it, it's kind of connected But I will I will be back with with videos and it, it have felt really really uh, good lately here It feels like I'm finding some some groove here with the tab review stuff Maybe I can do this once a week or something or maybe not. We will see But uh, the homepage videos here Hugo project I think I, I need to do that on my own and then maybe make a video uh, when, when it's done instead. It's getting a bit weird here. I, I hope you understand. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching. If you have been around for, for, for a long time, maybe you've been around even since the 7th October 2017. Amazing, really cool. Um, yeah, I'll be around, don't worry. But I, 
it will be less uh, uh, YouTubes for a while. But really, 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 I will try to make a video 7th October to celebrate. <laughs> Now we also got some in inside uh, baseball stuff about uh, my my view on Reddit and whatnot, and it's kind of sad, you know, because Reddit is kind of the Unix porn is the only thing that we in quotation mark had. There is this other image board, but that is even worse. So, and you got dot chariot that no one really uses, you know, and it's also kind of weird. I wish there were, were like a normal uh, classic forum. There actually is one. That is, it, 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 it is nothing wrong with that uh, at all. Uh, this page. If, if you didn't know about it. Here, here's a tab in my browser. Nixers.net It's like a Linux, Unix community. It's, it, it's both BSD and a lot of the, the, the good... Um, you know, Zero is, is an active, and Zebra here, if you know who these guys are, uh, they, they are like uh, old school risers or, uh, and ex extremely good uh, um, at what they are doing, whatever. Th this is a good forum, but it is kind of uh, slow. It's actually really, really slow have been lately. It's but it's because of the way forum works because forums and reddit and reddit is a form of a forum and it's always on reddit it is like everyone is this annoying uh, character but that character personality type always exists on forums and stuff all also and even if it's just uh, one user on this forum it, it kind of makes uh, it, it kills all the threads and stuff you know but maybe Probably this is the best alternative to gather and I don't want to go into Mastodon and, and that stuff that's uh, That is just reddit Facebook tier social media in my opinion. It's it, it's like no I, I don't see I, I don't care, you know the problem with Facebook is not like Mark Zuckerberg being Whatever he is, you know and Facebook being an evil organization it is not about that. That's not what I dislike about Facebook. It's like the spirit of Facebook. I don't, you know, even if you made an open source version of Facebook, the likes, the subjects, the images, the comments would still be the same. And that's, and the attitude, this, the kind of spirit it creates. And the same thing with Reddit. It doesn't matter if it's Gab or Reddit or Mastodon or whatever. It, it just uh, produces uh, uh, a bunch of pointless co content, in my opinion. Mo most of the stuff you know you read on Twitter, on Facebook, on on Reddit, it's just people saying things, having their opinions. You know, this is bad, this is good. You are mean, I am good. He's a bully. Look at this cat. You know, it's it 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 have no value at all. The information, but on a forum. Then you can have a thread about something alive for several years, you know. I could post here an i 3 s thread and then I could just post updates to that for several years. If someone finds an issue, they can just say in that thread, you know, that was started 2013, whatever. Hey, I found it and, and then we could have that discussion there, keep it alive, you know. But on Reddit, then you would just create a new thread. Hey, this program is broken. Yeah, we kind of resolved that issue. You ha it's not really an issue with the problem. It's you who, who misunderstood here. We, we have discussed that 500 times here on, on r slash i3 already, you know. But this is the way Reddit works. We will discuss it one more time, you know, instead of... On a forum, you would just found that thread, you know. I, 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 I'm a boomer. I miss these days. But it's very slow because everyone is using some other social media where that's active. You know, if you want social activity, then you go to the active uh, uh, part. Uh, I don't know. I I don't care about social activity. I'm I'm more about. I, I want information with with uh, density, with value. You know, and. In one way, also forums also doesn't have the highest density. What have the highest density of informa informational value 
is like PDFs, is uh, it's books and PDFs, you know, which is kind of the same thing. And next tier is probably uh, blog posts or maybe talks, you know, someone have, makes a one hour talk specialized on something, some researcher or someone really into the, you, you know what I mean? That's like high density and it takes the same amount of time to, to read a book, to read thousand words in a book and read thousand words on social media. It takes the same amount of, of time if you just uh, take it reading words, but on social media you're not just reading words, you're also analyzing, oh this uh, got five likes and this is downvote, this is upvote, here's a picture of a cat, you know, it takes much longer time to get much less valued information. And I, I know, maybe I am, um, and I, oh yeah, but that's because you are uh, autistic spectrum, but you don't, maybe, or maybe, you know, I kind of, I, I, and I don't really think I am. Uh, in one way, I don't believe in in those psychological, psychological with some parentheses around them, you know, uh, uh, etiquettes that we that we try to fit into all, all the time, everywhere. Of course, I have, uh, yeah, and as I just mentioned, I, I am kind of a sensible person, both uh, uh, for myself and for others and stuff and, and whatever, I don't know. I'm taking a break from the YouTubes. I am keeping an eye on, on this uh, forum. I'm sometimes make uh, some posts here. I am keeping an eye on Unix porn. I don't have a Reddit account, so I never uh, post anything there. Uh, I might keep an eye on other uh, image boards and stuff also, but I never post anything. I, uh, whatever. Um, Right now, I'm going to focus on, on getting the blog up and running and uh, the, the other BudLab uh, pages I want to do. So don't worry, uh, it's not like I'm having some sort of breakdown. I just need a little break, a little YouTube break. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great day. Bye.